Hello again, everyone. Let us learn together another topic in Moodle. Learning basics in Moodle, adding an, an activity or resource. Let us start. First, click the course that you want to add an activity or resource. Second, turn editing on. Third, go to the topic that you want to add an activity or resource. Click this one. Click the add activity or resource icon. Let us say we want to add a video conference platform. Actually, there are two video conference platforms that we can use in our Moodle. First, we have the big blue button or the BBP. And we also have here the Google Meet for Moodle. Let us try to explore and add first the BBP or the big blue button. Let us explore the edit settings in the big blue button. You have here the instance type. You can actually choose if you want the room or activity with recordings, or maybe room or activity only, or recordings only. So I will choose room or activity with recordings. And then I'm going to put my virtual classroom name. Example, I'm going to put or type August 31, 2021, or maybe the topic of that day. Click the show more if you want to attach something and then display the description on the course page and you are going to notify this change to users enrolled. Since I will not be putting something here in my description, I just click it like this to turn it off. Then you have the activity or room settings. You can type welcome message and please don't forget to click the wait for moderator so you will be the first one to be in the big blue button video conference you, or you can also click this one the session can be recorded now for view for recording okay lock settings you have there different settings you can lock them if you want to and then you also have here the role assigned during the session please add users or maybe the role you can add your audience here uh, with the use of um, the role you have here student and add them as your viewer and you of course as the moderator then schedule for session of course since it's august 31 and you can change the date and the time it's up to you if you want to enable the schedule for session or you can turn it off then you can click the common module settings okay. I think those are the things that you should uh, check when you want to when you want to use the big blue button then save and display it's here already then let's go back to our topic. You can see it already there that you have one material for video conference, which is the big blue button. Now let's try to explore the use of the video conference using the Google Meet. Let's click this one. And then you can type the room name, maybe your section, or maybe the date of your video conference. You can also Put this one and insert something here import a word link file video audio it's up to you if you put something in your description please don't forget to click the display description on course page now you can also uh, click the date for that let's say august 31 and then you can also explore this one, repeat on Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. This is, I think, the good thing in using the Google Meet. You can click this one. Then repeat every one week or repeat until it's up to you. Okay. And then you are going to generate room URL. 
So for, to generate on that, you need to log in to your Adu Moodle account. Then allow. After that, the Google Meet link is already generated with the room URL. Notification, yes, you can notify the students. It's up to you how many, how many minutes before your uh, video conference. Okay. And I think that could be all for the settings for your Google Meet in Moodle. Then save and display. You can see it there how you edit your settings for your video conference. And then you go back to your topic and then turn editing off. And you already have two materials here in your first topic, the big blue button and the Google Meet. So it's up to you. What are you going to use for your video conference? I think that could be all. Thank you for listening. Bye.